You have probably seen that photo on social media where there is a small cat looking into the mirror, but the reflection that is coming back from the mirror is that of a mighty lion, a mane in its full grandeur and in its full glory. It's a very motivational photo if you've come across it. And in the podcast today, I want to start a series of messages where I want to talk about mirroring in that we can up our brand or increase our game or our visibility by looking at the mirror of other people who are in the same niche or in the same trade, doing the things that we are passionate about or the place or the or going to places where we want to go. This is going to be very instructive for us because we are all needed. Every one of us needs one another. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. The preachers say that there is nothing new under the sun. In other words, if we're talking about your vision and your purpose and your mission, the things that you're really passionate about, you find that you are not the very first one to begin those things. You find that as a founder, you're not the only founder there is. As a father, you're not the only father there is. A mother, a parent, there is always going to be someone somewhere who is doing what you're passionate about or what the things that probably maybe in the general terms not necessarily in the specifics for example you are not the first motivational speaker you're not the first writer you're not the first author you're not the first poet you're not the first startup uh, entrepreneur whatever you get my point there is always someone and in one of my writings i've posited that you are a sandwich in that there is always going to be someone who is better than you and then there's always going to be someone who is worse off than you and you can learn from both of them you are in between you can learn from the guy who is worse off and you can also learn quite a great deal and humblingly by the way there is such a word you can be humbled by the guy who is way way ahead of you and in the podcast, I want us to start discussing how do we leverage the most when we look in the mirror and what we are seeing is basically someone who is way ahead of us. How can we learn from them? How can we leverage that mirroring? Mirroring is something that is absolutely great tool to use in terms of your branding you see a great brand and you aspire to be like that and when i'm talking about brands i'm not talking about organizations organizations are part of branding but we have personalities we have events we have products and we have services all of those can be brands in and of their own but i'm saying that you as a human being or you as a visionary you are a brand and basically, in any niche that you are, you will find out that there is a guy or there is someone or there is a big brand in that particular niche that you are part of. Let me give you an example. There is a time I wanted to write a book. 
and this book was a collection of inspirational stories plus lessons but they are coming from the environment in Africa very many times you go to the bookshop and you're trying to get an African setting a book that has an Af African connotation to it and you find that there are many books from the Western world many books from Europe many books from the America many books from the UK but very few of our own inspirational and motivational books with our own stories and with our own histories we learn of Lincoln we learn of Martin Luther King Jr. we learn of Joan of Arc we learn of uh, Alexander the Great we learn of all those foreign guys but when we come back home, our Kwame Nkrumah stories, they are stifled. Our Jomo Kenyatta stories, they are laden with you know, corruption and all those things. We just have one side of the story and we don't have the full picture. And so I wanted to go out there and do the same thing that these guys in the Western world are doing. Writing their own stories of motivation and inspiration from history. Guess what? When I got into the bookshop, I saw very many books of Chicken Soup for the Soul, which were, was basically an idea that I was having, and I didn't know that someone else somewhere had the same idea and had already deployed that idea. And you know what I did? I gave up. Even up to today, I've never gone back to try and do that idea and just run with it. Probably I'll do it at a later date. My point is this, that instead of giving up, I should have learned something from those guys that are in the trade, learned something from the guys who are doing this and who are doing that in order for me to grow and to up my game. You see, what I want us to learn and what I want, what I want us to discuss in the next several episodes is taking someone who is a big brand or taking a big brand and learning from it especially if you are passionate to the extent that they are doing mostly the same thing that you are also doing see i do not know the secret of success someone said but i know that the secret of failure is trying to please everybody i think that's bill cosby who said those words and uh, I couldn't have said it better and more succinctly. But I'm not talking about aping. I'm not talking about copying. I'm not talking about taking without thinking, without customizing and pasting. I'm talking about learning the essence, learning the spirit, seeing the excellence, being challenged by the grandeurs, the glory of the brand that you are aspiring to to become. See, there are hordes of people coming out of schools these days. And what is their focus? Their focus is always to get a job. It is not to sharpen their brand. There are, there are quite a number of them who believe that once they have gotten out of school, prison is over and so on and so forth. And the only thing that they, they, they've got to do is look for a job. So I've been discussing in the past episodes in the past series about joblessness and today i want to up the game to up the ante and start discussing about branding and i know branding has been discussed extensively in this episodes in this podcast but i'm as, as long as it's in my spirit it's in my heart i will keep talking about it see i have no problem with jobs whatsoever absolutely no problem what I discourage though is engaging in an activity without having the needed insight for it. Jobs are good. Mementa Miles Monroe however says that what we do after 5 o'clock is the most important thing because that is going to be something about our own passion, our own insight, our own brand. So there is a dream job and then there's a day job. See, having the mindset that you were born for a specific purpose. And having answered the most important question in your life is, what was I born to do? Who was I sent to deliver? It follows that the most logical thing to do on a daily basis is to have a focus of sharpening that brand that you are. Your brand involves what you are known for because you have purpose to pursue it. It's like it's coming out of you. You cannot help yourself. 
is basically like something that is within you it's not an appendage you need purpose is not an addition an appendage is something that you add on a whole and to form a whole but purpose emanates from within it is part and parcel of the whole it's not something that is attached to it so i think the best thing that you can be able to do is to do pursue that which is what you are which is your brand your brand involves what you are known for because you have purpose to pursue it because you believe that you were born to do it you believe that there is no other way you can get fulfilled in life other than that see this can be done even when you are having your day job so to speak our goal should be to endeavor to faithfully gravitate over the years over the month towards that which is our brand which is what Kari Obabroma in his book Day Job to Dream Job calls it a dream job you will realize that your dream job has very many people that are already doing that which you aspire to do and they are actually excelling in it maybe your dream job is to become a celebrated author there are millions of those maybe it's be to become a speaker there are millions of those if not you also realize that there are very many people that espouse the values that you cherish concerning your life purpose and you can study them you can mirror them and you can learn one thing or another and i pose it to us today that the best thing to do to up your ante i think every single week every single month is to look at the guy who is way ahead of you and learn from them what are they doing right what keeps them ticking what is their strength how are they navigating through the changes and upheavals of life and you can download one nugget or another from them that is what i want to leave you with and my assignment to you is this find out in your area of passion in a area in your area of purpose find out that man or that woman or that brand that is already there is already making things to happen maybe you wanted to have a podcast that is just having hundreds of thousands of subscribers they are those they are already there can you find them and can you start mirroring what they are doing learning from them seeing what they are doing and trying to implement what they are doing i am saying you copy their logo and you copy their website colors and web schemes and so on i am saying you copy their ways but you also are not going to abort your heart in copying their ways you are not necessarily putting down what your passion is and so on you are simply learning their ways but your essence remains intact tomorrow we're going to discuss further this phenomenon but until then think of those guys instead of being intimidated by them like i was see how you can learn from them and know this by the way there is no one who can claim originality on anything there is no one who can claim a franchise on anything apart from the guys who have patented those ideas and so on and so forth but we can still deploy our own difference even if it's similar to someone else stay tuned and bye bye A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.